Hey you! Whew, it has been a minute. So I look a little different, as you may have noticed. Um, so last time you saw me, I had red hair, actually, and I dyed it dark, and then I dyed it back to light, and I also got my nose pierced. Um, I originally got it because I wanted to put like a little nose ring, but I'm too scared to take out the stud that I have in um, because it's probably going to hurt and I don't know if it's fully healed. So we'll see. Also, since the last time you saw me, I, um, I tried self tanner and, uh, that went well. Um, I wanted to make this video and give you guys a quick little life update uh, because it has been a minute and I I apologize. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. Um, I've been training to become a sales lead at my job and possibly an assistant manager, but we'll see. We'll see. Still working on that. One thing a lot of people have been asking about is my second dog. So I did actually get a second dog. You guys aren't crazy. You weren't gaslit. Like that, that happened. Um, sadly, I do not have him anymore. He was a golden doodle and my ex actually got him for me for Christmas. And I was going to make a whole video, you know, training my puppy, meet my puppy sort of thing and then my ex asked for the puppy back and that's why I no longer have him um it's very sad but it was it just was what it was you know there's not really anything else to say about that but the puppy is alive and thriving and I am very sad that I don't have him anymore but He's doing good. He's in a good place. So time for an update on my love life. Um, yeah. <coughs> so as a few of you know, I was looking for a relationship recently. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> I recently went on a date with this guy and the whole date was just red flag after red flag after red flag after red flag so after seeing all the red flags I ultimately decided hey we should just be friends and I texted him that and I texted I I set out this whole long beautiful kind paragraph just basically saying like you're an amazing person there were just some things about our interactions I didn't like and this is why I think we should just be friends and he responded with, What are you talking about? You're crazy. <laughs> You're adorable and crazy. What do you mean? I didn't want a relationship with you. Oh. Oh, because I seem to remember going on a date with you. Huh. Funny, funny how that works. He basically tried to gaslight me and tell me that I was crazy and he never wanted a relationship. And that he was just being nice to me, even though he begged me to go on a date with him. And then he proceeded to get on a phone call with me for 30 minutes saying, first dates aren't romantic. I never said I wanted a relationship. Basically this whole thing. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Well, I just want to be friends though, just so that's clear. And he said basically this. I thought, I thought we were on the same page. Like, I'm just so confused. I don't know where it went wrong. Like, I just thought you wanted something, like, casual, like, no strings attached. No, actually, no. <laughs> no, because I didn't say that. I, nope. No, I did not say that. I don't know where you got that from. Uh, so I actually, I told you in the paragraph, uh, like, what you did wrong and why I want to be friends. No, but, like, we could still, like, hang out and stuff. Like, we're still on the same page, right? I'm so glad we had this talk. What? Okay, bye. <laughs> and I haven't spoken to him since. So I'm getting off the dating apps for a minute. <laughs> if you see me on one, 
anyways, uh, the other day, I actually witnessed a crime. Yeah. So I was driving, right? In my little car. And I come up to this stoplight. I'm stopped behind this person. I turn up the music a little bit. I realize, oh, this person's going. It must be green. The light was not green. That person rolled through a red light. Crime committed. To be fair, it wasn't a very busy road. There was like one other car there, but still. And they weren't in a rush or anything either. Like they didn't speed through the stoplight. They just, they just drove, they just drove along. They weren't in a rush for anything. They just felt like breaking the rules today. So that was crazy. I was about to roll after them because I thought it was green, but I was like, oh, breaks. About like two or three weeks ago, I got COVID, like COVID-19 in 2024. I thought, I thought we weren't really dealing with that anymore. And then I literally almost passed away. I had such a high fever and I almost went to the hospital, but then I was able to take some medicine, get my fever down. I had to quarantine for a week when I tested positive for COVID. It was so, so, so awful. And if you do get COVID, please quarantine, please don't spread it. And I posted a TikTok about having COVID and getting COVID and so many people have been getting COVID recently and I got so many comments. I got COVID, I got COVID, I got COVID, I got COVID. I didn't realize it was still so prominent and I actually just ran into a friend like today and she was like, yeah, I had, I had COVID too. So please, please, please don't prove I'm right. If you have COVID, um, please wear your masks. Please stay inside. <laughs> Let's not be spreading it. Let's not be super spreaders, okay? Okay. Um, since the beginning of summer, my AC has not been working it wouldn't cool to the temperature that I was setting it to. And I was living in like 78 to 85 degrees within my apartment at all times. I was so sick of it. I called maintenance, not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. I was like burning alive in here. So that wasn't fun. And they finally, Replaced my AC. My place is nice and cool now. I'm not suffering from the heat. The Arizona heat. I'm doing great. I'm super happy. I love my job. Not very happy with my living situation because of the AC thing, but it's getting a lot better. I've been drinking a lot of water. I'm trying so hard to stay hydrated. It's very, very difficult because I just, I just keep forgetting. I'm like, Oh man, I'm, I don't feel good. Oh, I haven't drank any water today. There it is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I'm so happy. This is your reminder. Go, go drink your water. Go sip your Stanleys. Go sip your... Ew. <laughs> I got some new neighbors recently. And they're pretty cool. It's a bit of a weird dynamic. I don't really know what's going on over there, but they seem pretty chill, which is way better than my last apartment neighbors. I can't remember if I ever shared, but the last neighbors that I had, um, I did call the cops on them actually a few times because it was a girl and her boyfriend and they would get into really loud, explosive arguments. And you know, I was a bit scared we shared a wall so I could hear like a lot not everything but I heard a lot and also one of the reasons I wanted to move yeah I haven't done an outro in like so long I don't even know what to say anymore bye thanks for watching bye <laughs> see you soon or in a couple months whenever I decide to make a video
I'm just kidding. You'll hear from me soon. I'll stop going AWOL. I just have to get a I just have to get a posting schedule going. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!